Hey guys, what is up? Last of our asbestos here. So, for today's review, I have a rather interesting piece. So, before I get into what exactly this mask is, I'm going to explain a little bit about the finalized face piece, its purpose, and a little on that. So this way, explaining the prototype variant makes a bit more sense. So, the M43 Aviator's mask was finalized in 1986 by MSA, created for Apache aircrew pilots. There were two variants of this mask, the first variant being an M43 Type 1 for IHATS compatibility and usage with the AH-64 Apache gunship, and the M43 Type 2, which was created as a general aviator's mask for use with various aircraft. <laughs> The M43 was mainly characterized by its green rubber nylon hose and its proprietary portable blower unit. The blower unit was able to function off either the aircraft itself or on its own with a special 12 volt nickel cadmium battery. Throughout the years of service, the M43 Type 1 ended up being replaced for the M48 Apache aircrew mask which served up through the 90s and early 2000s until being also phased out. The M48 had also replaced the M43 for a more efficient and lightweight blower unit. So, now that the history and purpose of the mask has been thoroughly explained, now onto the prototype phases of this mask. Throughout the community, we have observed a few different unique variants of this mask in its prototyping stages, ranging from as late as 1986 to as early as my recorded variant, which is dated 1984. Earlier prototype variants have been recorded at Fort Leonard Wood, though the date has remained unknown to us. As for the progression of these phase pieces, there was mine, of course, which visually can be seen using early MBU-12 furniture featuring a permanently affixed MBU-12 green silicone hose, MBU-12 mic output, and an internal M101 AIC internal microphone. My variant being serial number 1006, later seen in other examples down the road, these begin evolving to use with black silicone MBU-13 hoses, and soon onto the common, commonly reg recognized rubber nylon hoses. As for most XM-43 variants, it's seen they're in use with what looks to resemble more in the footsteps of the finalized product of the M-43 blower. So, not all that many differences only one, notable, only one notable difference, mainly being the ILC Dover contracted Israeli filters designed for use specifically with the XM43. However, mine and one other variant of the XM43, minus the standard M43 proprietary blower connector, is commonly speculated upon what would have been the periodically correct blower unit for this mask. To the unknowns, we've speculated this mask and may have used the CRU-80 filter carrier. And as far as this entire mask goes, a lot of this visibly seen to be the early developments of what really led up to the main established design of the XM-43. Featuring qualities such as thinner, shinier rubber, complex hand-glued tissot tubes, early MBU-12 hardware, unfinished air distribution assembly, hand-fixed and glued parts, and so on and so forth. This is a very interesting example, so it's a pleasure to have the opportunity to bestow my knowledge onto others who also may seek an interest in unknown early prototypes, such as the mask I have here. Here are also some close-ups of the mask. <laughs> A 
as you can see here, this is pretty much exactly a standard MBU-12 connection. So this is what would have normally been used with the CRU-80 blower unit. The ID tag is also very different. Also notice that under item here, this is displayed as an IHADS assembly, which is tends to be different than the way that most XM43 ID tags are displayed. Notice this is the serial number 1006, which also matches the serial number on the forehead of the mask. Also, I thought I would mention that normally as most XM43s or M43s are double skirted, this is single skirted, so it's just a face piece and a butyl hood. Onto the carrier, it has no notable stamps or writing. And just to clarify, this is the face piece carrier alone. This does not carry the blower and whatnot. Here are the internals of the carrier. It has a few straps in here and the carrier also came with batteries, as you can see here. is what these have written on them here. Again, I hope this review was very helpful for anyone who especially enjoys these types of things. Um, contact me if you have any questions, any concerns, please let me know, and I will see you all later.